So what we're preparing for is Caleb's birthday. We're going into Guayobitos, and we are going to negotiate with the people to take us out on a boat out to Coral Island to do a little snorkeling. So as soon as we got on the beach, a guy says he'd take us out to Coral Island for 200 pesos each. That's 800 pesos round trip. I don't know. I said I would go find someone else and he says, okay, you go find someone else. Okay. Well, there's some negotiating in the sand. I drew 600. He erased the six and he put seven. And then I was just trying to figure out what he was saying. And he said, okay, fine, 650. is to see as many things possible but I just want to let you know that Caleb is having an awesome birthday lots of things we're getting thrown around what are we gonna do today mm hmm how is this gonna go down we're out mm -hmm. of town is mm -hmm. it gonna be any good mucho gusto no um <laughs> no mucho mucho ow Okay, this was the best birthday ever. I mean, so far. I mean, there's more to come. I know it. Uh huh. It is so just Well, we're uh, we're officially stranded <laughs> on this island. I'm really stressed out. It's day two. You can tell Trish is pretty upset about it. We are ready to go, though. Hey, you know what though? The kids, the boys did a really good job snorkeling. I was impressed. And it made me realize that when we start sailing mm -hmm. and we start getting into spear fishing, that like between the three of us, we are never going to go hungry. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Good. That's good. You guys can take care of me and I'll take care of you. I'll make you food. Mm. It is so Welcome back to another edition of This Old RV. On today's episode, we are doing two improvements. This is a 2016 Pacific Coachworks uh, 28 DBSS. And I can tell that right out of the manufacturing facility, they completely jacked up the front where they had a hard time getting the front to stay on. And so they, uh, their solution to this was to put about 100 staples and cover it up with uh, sealant and rubber. It's complete, I mean, it's complete nonsense. But this, uh, I don't know. 
The garbage. Yeah. Who, who, whose company make this? So we're putting in longer screws about this long. We're gonna put sealant in the screws. We're gonna mount that closer. We're gonna reseal the whole area. But the second improvement that we're making, which again, I think should have been done in the manufacturer, but above the tires, there is uh, material above the wheels. Uh, so that basically when the rain and whatnot comes up, it's like a splash guard, it's a weather guard or something like this so that it doesn't um, rot the wood. Well, after a couple blowouts, when you hit a blowout, that material rips and it creates, you know, it just, it comes apart. It should really be metal. So what we're doing here is we're adding uh, aluminum, basically uh, wheel wells, and we're gonna, we're gonna secure those to above the wheels, and then we're gonna seal that all, so it'll all be aluminum above the wheels. I think this is a really nice improvement. To say all the great work you did, I offered him uh, water instead of 1,250 pesos, and he said yes. I don't know English. I'm glad you're not charging me by the screw. Man, it'd be a fortune. <laughs> oh, maybe so, he thought maybe he thought he was charging me by the screw, so we thought maybe more screws the better, huh? You know what? Tell the factory to work right. What a Mexican had to do for you, <laughs> for your country. <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> no, no. It looks good though. You saw how bad it was before. So not only was it a potential water issue but it's much better now. When Trish and I initially started uh, talking with Bob and Shirley and we called and we called them to get information on you know, what was the best way to get to Mexico and how to drive down and whatnot, they were just so helpful. And then to partner up with them on the caravan to come down was just enormous. So Trish at the end of the call said, geez, Shirley, this, uh, this has been so great. What can we do for you? And Shirley said, there's not much you can do for us. And then she says, oh, wait, there is something that you could do for us. She said, we do this charity that we've been doing for the past seven years where we bring all of the clothes from the United States and Canada and we go into these various communities to distribute the clothes to the community. If you could record that, if you can make a video of what we're doing so that we can spread the word and kind of show other friends and family where their clothes are going and kind of the difference that it's making, if you could record that, that would be great. So obviously, uh, the answer to that was yes. So here's a glimpse of the work that is now called the Mexican Love Express. I think it's amazing how they're giving all this stuff away that donated. Like you see in Arizona how there's like donation boxes and I don't really think that much about them except when you really come to Mexico and you see all this being distributed from all the donations. It's kind of cool. child was five years old and lots of Americans came from Montana to Mexico and that's how I started seeing that little help it would do a lot and I grew up seeing that and now I'm part of it. Today is pickup Tory day so Trish you're going down to do it with Caleb? Hey. It's gonna be awesome! I'm gonna, I miss her so much. You already know I'm gonna say Amazon gifts, but I do miss her. So good talk. All right, mom, what do you have to say about it all? I'm excited to go get my girl. Well, I'm bringing my muscles with me. Somebody needs to carry carry all of Tori's heavy bags. Yeah. <laughs> so we are um, in the car now, and we are going to go pick up Tori. 
the airport and then we're going to go chill at the beach and we're going to um you know just have a little fun day you know with tori settle there in slowly it's gonna be good So we are going, wait, no, we are at the airport right now, currently, and um, we are about to pick up Tori. Unfortunately, she feels like crud, so we gave a doctor a call, and the directions went like this. There's two lights. Go one block past the light, take a left, go up the street, you'll find my office. I was very nervous, but it happened exactly like she said. <laughs> we found her office. So we're going to go in and make sure that Tori doesn't have, like, strep throat or something crazy. We have a prescription, so we're going to go... We're going to go kick this whatever infection in her throat we're gonna go <clears throat> kick it in the butt so that doctor's visit was kick it in the throat that yeah we're gonna kick it in the throat that doctor's visit was very thorough right and very fast at the same time and very fast at the same time and a full good. checkup it was an absolute full checkup and it was 300 pesos you see these two cars back here we just rode the back roads to come and release about a hundred turtles. This morning they were supposed to go out, but all the frigates, which are these big pterodactyl type birds, came and started eating them. So we had to save them in these boxes and we're releasing them this evening when the birds are not around so we can save them. I'm so excited. It's the best way to spend a night ever. Nice. So we've lined up a bunch of chairs. We're gonna release the turtles. They're gonna go ahead and go right into the ocean. It's gonna be awesome. I've ever done. It's in the top three of this new adventure trip thing. It's a magical, magical thing. I don't know how you say magical, but I do know that. Whoa, whoa. Guys, run for your life. Their life is not easy getting thrown into that the second you're born. And there were frigates, there were those birds, they came back, but luckily they went away, so. Look at the wave, Dad. Whoa. You would see these massive, massive waves, and inside the waves, you would see these little black dots, and it's all the turtles. And then some get to nice and swim and go out, and some just get on top of the wave and crumble down. So, it's a hard life for these guys. It's the best experience. I got to, I was a hero. I got to save turtles. Oh, there's a turtle. We hope you guys like that video. There is still so much more of Mexico to come. But as some of you know, we are already back in Arizona because the channel does run a couple months behind. And we are next week doing our first KYD meetup in Arizona, April 20th. And if you are in Arizona and you're thinking about doing something like that, hop on our Facebook page and Instagram. That's where we announce stuff like that. And if you don't live in Arizona, 
and you think a meetup would be kind of cool, then hop on and like our Facebook page and Instagram page, which I'll link down there, so that you guys can kind of be like kept up to date as yes. to our meetup stuff. And, and you can let us know where you are, and maybe our paths will cross. Right on. So we need to go right there. Okay. We will catch you guys uh, next weekend for another episode where we go into tequila, Mexico, and we start touring the tequila distilleries. It's going to be awesome. Woo! Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.